Welcome guys to this new video of to Express. Today I'm going to be showing you how to boost your email marketing efforts integrating the MailChimp directly here into WordPress. So today let's see how we can enable the automation of the email listing directly to improve engagement with the audience. First of all and most easy is to sign up or log into MailChimp. If you don't have an actual account of MailChimp, I'm going to leave it linked down below in the description so you can have an actual account totally for free. What you need to do is just type in email as well as a passcode to verify that email and you're actually in. So if you want an actual full tutorial how we can get started here into MailChimp, I'm going to leave it linked down below in the description so you can see how we can actually use MailChimp. Right, so the very second thing you wanted to do, of course, is that you need access to your MailChimp dashboard to obtain the API details later in the setup. So once we have access now to the MailChimp, you might be seeing that we have now the dashboard, we have the actual campaigns, automation, audience, analytics, and so much more elements. We're using actually, of course, the free, um, the free plan. So with that being said, now let's focus into the next thing, which is installing MailChimp plugin directly into WordPress. So next, let's focus into our WordPress, sign into WordPress, navigate directly into the web hub, and here let's focus into plugins. Now here into plugins, I'm going to focus into the option that says add new plugin. Now here what you want to do is to search for MailChimp for WordPress. So I choose the search plugin and I type MailChimp. And then what I wanted to do is to make sure that the MailChimp is available into my actual plugins. So as you can see, it says MailChimp for WooCommerce. Or here we have the MailChimp forms by MailMonth. So you wanted to make sure that the actual installation of the MailChimp is exactly what you're actually looking for. Because MailChimp has much more stuff where you can get started. For example, this one comes with an different forms. Uh, forms, hustles, pop-up makers, and so much more. So they're going to focus only into the MailChimp for the WooCommerce. Even you can type the MailChimp Creative, so you can see that there's more applications that you can download directly here into the Intuit MailChimp. But today, let's focus into the plugin of the MailChimp for WooCommerce. So I hit now into Install Now. After you make the installation, let's go and hit Activate. Now this is the next part, connecting the plugin directly into MailChimp. So once activated, you want to navigate to the MailChimp for uh, WordPress that appears into the right part. As you can see, in focusing into WooCommerce, directly here is the actual MailChimp. So here's the part which you want to focus directly into the WordPress dashboard. Inside the WordPress dashboard, we are inside the actual connection of the actual MailChimp. So this is the part which you want to choose the option that says Connect. If you don't have an account here into MailChimp, what you can do is to create a new one where it says create an account. But in our case, what we want to do is to sign into our actual account that we already have signed in. So you're going to choose logged in. And I wanted to authorize the MailChimp for the WooCommerce. And I choose the option that says allow. Just wait a few seconds till the actual access has now been granted automatically. And now, as you can see, the actual integration is now being correctly added. So just make sure that this one appears directly where it says MailChimp for the WooCommerce. As you can see, you have the review sync to settings. So make sure that we have the actual account here authorized and go for a synced now. You can have actually the element that says LinkedIn audience. So you can see that my audience from MailChimp has now been added automatically. In my case, I do have the audience that says TechPress Tutorials, and here I have the actual LinkedIn audience. You can sync as subscribe it, sync as no subscribers, existent context only, or what you're actually looking for. So lastly, let's go for synced now and save the changes. Now, if you wanted to enter an API key into the WordPress, this is going to be different and it's going to be helping you, of course, to connect your WordPress site to your MailChimp account. So let's focus directly where it says continue to MailChimp to make sure that the MailChimp is not being connected inside the actual WooCommerce, which that means the actual WordPress. And you can see that we are now inside the actual MailChimp directly into WooCommerce. For further advanced elements, what we can do is to return here into WordPress dashboard and paste the API into the relevant field into MailChimp for uh, WordPress plugin settings. So focus here, it says MailChimp, you can focus directly into the advanced elements or into the logs and you can see that we have the different logs deleted and create one as we are actually doing it. Now lastly, is testing the forms to ensure they're working correctly. So fill out a form into your site to see if the data syncs correctly to your MailChimp list. So let's go directly here into WooCommerce and here what you can do is to get started by creating an actual pop-up form and you're good to go. You can track your overview, the store, the audience, the logs, and the advanced elements directly here into the MailChimp extension that appears into WooCommerce, guys. 
And that's it, how you successfully connect MailChimp to your WordPress site, allowing you to effectively manage your email campaigns and subscriber lists directly from your website. If you wanted to do so much more elements from the actual MailChimp into your WordPress, you wanted to make sure that when you do it so, the connection of your MailChimp and your website is still apparent and active. And well guys, if you find this tutorial helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more WordPress and email marketing tips. Hopefully we can see you next time.